Ryan Sugley of Rappler.com here with boxing trainer Robert Garcia, also former world champion and uh, when he was a professional. Uh, we're here at the MGM Grand. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, Timothy Bradley both stepped off the scales. Is there anything to read into uh, how they looked on the scales, or is it just business as usual? No, uh, you know, in the scales you can't really see. You know, we, they've always been in great shape. Timothy Bradley, you know, has always looked ripped and and, and in tremendous shape. That's the way he looked today. So did Packer, you know. Uh, I think it's, it's an interesting fight, you know, for us that no boxing and uh, and the importance of a good win for for both of them. But I think I think it's it's more important for like for like Manny Pacquiao because uh, a lot of people are already thinking he should he should be retiring pretty soon. People think he's got no chance on you know maybe fighting Canelo or or getting Mayweather out of retirement. But uh, if he looks impressive and if he wins convincingly, I think he could. Uh, those two fights are are possible. So you don't uh, necessarily think that Manny Pacquiao should retire right now? Oh no, I don't think so. I don't, why would he? You know, he makes a lot of money. Plus, he's still healthy, and especially if he wins impressively, why would he retire? You know, unless he gets beat and and loses and 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 and. Uh, gets hurt then maybe I would be one or and his team would probably you know advise him the same thing but if, uh, if he looks impressive and and, and uh, looks sensational why would he retire there's so many fights out there that that he could have that uh, that could make him a lot of money that's an interesting segue into uh, my next question which is that um, Pacquiao has a, a win against Bradley uh, Timothy Bradley has an official win against him in their first fight how do you see the third fight going down look I, that's why you know I think that Pacquiao knows the importance of a win. Pacquiao knows that he hasn't looked so powerful and so impressive in his last maybe four fights, uh, like he was like he was when he beat uh, De La Hoya, Ricky Hatton. You, you mentioned them, you know. He he beat Eric Bacoto. Uh, he stopped all those guys, Shane Mosley. Uh, so so he needs to get one of those wins in order to get a Canelo or a Mayweather out of retirement. He needs to look that good and I think he is gonna do it in this fight I have a I have a feeling that he that he trained like never before or at least like he like he had in, in a few years and he's gonna look impressive that's the way I think I mean of course uh, you mentioned Canelo uh, he's uh, the middleweight champion right now I uh, and Pacquiao has never fought above 147 pounds he weighed in 144 when uh, I believe he fought Margarito uh, for the 154 pound title um, do you think that that is a fight that Pacquiao can do well in against Canelo you know we I think I could I could say that after 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 tomorrow night if uh, if he looks impressive impressive and sensational then I think he could do it you know he could do it but we'll see after tomorrow but uh, I think he's got the skills and uh, and uh, a few years ago when he was you know when he was able to knock out Cotto De La Hoya mostly we would think he's ready mm -hmm. you know if he looks the way he did a few years ago, then I think he has a good shot at Canelo. I think I think that that fight would make a lot of sense. I need to ask your opinion on something because uh, you were in uh, Brandon Rios's corner uh, for uh, his last fight against Timothy Bradley, where Rios was stopped. Uh, Roach has dismissed that win, saying that uh, you know Ray Rios wasn't in top shape. Do you feel that Bradley deserves credit for doing what no one else has done, Look, which is stop Rios? He went he went in the ring and did his job. It's not his fault Brandon Rios wasn't in shape, so he need, he deserves the credit. But I but I also agree with uh, with Ray Roach, mm -hmm. which is that uh, Rios was uh, not the Rios he of of the. Uh, you know, he wasn't. I know he wasn't. So you know, but that does that take, takes nothing away from Bradley. He came in to do his job, so we got to respect the decision and the way it went. You know, I can't. You know, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not taking credit away from him because he did what he had to do. But uh, but yeah, but Freddie Roach is right. And of course, I just want to ask you, uh, another guy you trained for a long time, uh, or for a while, was uh, Marcus Maidana. I'm sure you've seen the photos online. Uh, um, he looks like he's enjoying his time off right now. Do you think uh, he's, he's, he's ever going to fight again? You know what? I don't. I can't answer that question, but I, me personally, I don't think he will, and I don't want him to if it's just to come and make a payday. Uh, and the way it looks, you know, those pictures, it seems like he just doesn't want to fight again, and I, I don't blame him. You know, he he did so good with in the in his last three fights. You know, Broner and two with Mayweather. That you know, he never expected those type of fights. People never thought he'd make it to those fights. And when we made it together, you know, well, enjoy your life, enjoy your family. He's got kids, he's got a wife, he's got mom, dad. You know, he wants to enjoy. He's got a country that loves him. So I don't blame him. You know, I I, I support him 100 percent. And if he ever does want to come back, I would say it has to be because he he wants to do it. And he loves he loves the sport and he's ready to do it not just because because uh, of payday or because or because they're forcing him to.